Every time we look in the mirror, we don't see ourselves as beautiful, unique, distinct from everyone else. We don't see ourselves as gifted and talented. Instead, every time we look in the mirror, we criticize ourselves. We see ourselves ugly, which is what society labels us. And every time we look in the mirror and criticize ourselves, we give in more to this toxic spinning wheel society has created for us. A toxic spinning wheel that praises unrealistic beauty standards. A toxic spinning wheel that society created to make more money out of us, to change ourselves, and waste our money in unnecessary crap. A toxic spinning wheel that is a trap filled with insecurities that make us fall deeper into their trap. A toxic spinning wheel that never stops spinning because once we enter its trap, we cannot get out. Because it all starts with, I want to change this one thing about myself. For example, the shape of my nose. But after we make that one change, we go back to the mirror and we find more flaws. And we think we need to fix them right away. Otherwise, we'll be torn down by society. But that's what actually happens because society tears us down for the way we look. Because that's the way this toxic spinning wheel works. We can't get out of it. We need to keep on changing ourselves. And we never are satisfied with ourselves. Because that is how a spinning wheel works. It goes round and round. No end. We return to the mirror once again. Finding more and more things we need to change about ourselves. Because we think, once I do these changes, that'll be enough and I'll be happy with myself. Right? Wrong. That's the way society wants it to feel like. Oh, you'll be satisfied once you do this. But in reality, all doing all these changes, now you're even more trapped into this toxic spinning wheel. And you're the one losing because you never get to accept yourself for the way you are. And you're splurging your money on unnecessary crap that you don't really need. But society comes out winning because they earn profit from your insecurities. In this story, it, it seems that society is the only enemy here. But there's another us we're the bully in the mirror we need to find strength within ourselves and say enough i don't need to change myself just so i can love myself we need to learn how to love ourselves and care for ourselves the way we are i know it's hard but we need to do it we can't continue to fall inside this toxic spinning wheel that has no end and keep on wasting our money in something we don't really need and we can't be fooled by thinking if you do all these changes you'll be happy because in reality, you won't. Happiness comes the moment you love and accept yourself for who you are and leave it as that. You don't have to change yourself or anything. Just accept yourself and continue to love yourself despite what society thinks about you. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Love yourself. Be don't become and don't continue to be that bully in the mirror.